I ain't gonna lie, I'm gonna be honest with you. It's like, um, at first I was thinking it was like a gimmick, you know? Cause like, we not used to it. So like, you you still in disbelief and you, you know what I'm saying? You really not taking heed into it. But when I started seeing like people are really down, I'm, whoa, hold on. Now you gotta reevaluate yourself. Like, uh-uh, you can't, you know what I'm saying? So it's kind of like, it kind of like put me in the house. Like, as much as I didn't want to or believe it, when I start seeing everything around me shut down, like it was a TV show, I'm like, yeah, this is real. So now it's like, you no, know, everything coming from home. Like, you know what I'm saying? With the lockdown, like, even though I was traveling a lot, like, I'd be on the West Coast a lot. Like, I'd either be in L.A. or I'd be in, sad, uh, in Vegas, but I was getting, like, my music and stuff done. But now it's, like, everything from home. So I'm working at home, like, I'm building more music, crafting at the crib, you know what I'm saying? So everything else, like, just starting at home, like, there's no tour. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm pretty sure I probably would have been on tour or something if, if this, you know what I'm saying, if it wasn't going. Like, a lot of stuff would be moving. It kind of slowed things down, but at a, at a sense, it's not like it's just for me. It's for everybody. It's for the whole world, you know? So it's like, I can't really be in my fifis about it. It definitely stopped a, a lot of people traveling and money process coming in because you got to, a lot of people travel. A lot of people do shows. A lot of people do venues, clubs, and things like that. You know what I'm saying? To get their money. So it definitely stopped a lot of that. Like with the workout things, I've always been like an active person. So I'm always, you know what I'm saying, getting myself together. I don't smoke nor drink. So, you know, like I'm a, I'm, I'm probably as healthy as it comes. You know what I'm saying? Like I eat right. I drink a lot of water. So, like, I always make sure I keep my immune system decent. But, like. On another stand, like sitting in the house where I've been learning, I've been learning that TikTok because that's what the kids at now. So I've been trying to get a little TikTok together, you know. Spend a lot of time on that, just watching, observing for a little bit before I start really taking full fledged to it, you know. Yeah, it's more people on TikTok than Instagram now. As I like when I saw, like I could tell, like it's more people on, like you, you get views, like people don't even know you, like they don't even have a follow you, get more views than people follow you, you know what I'm saying? So it's like definitely a watching thing. A lot of people watching, you know what I'm saying? I miss the studio vibes with like 20 people in up. You know what I'm saying? Turning up like just a vibe. Like, like you can't do that now. Like, you know what I'm saying? I miss like I do miss the parties, but I ain't eager to go because I ain't eager to die. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so yeah, like I, I it's a couple things I miss, you know what I'm saying? I'll be wishing things go back to normal. Like I be like you got all them shoes behind you. I like shoes. I like to go get shoes. I can't even go get no shoes. Boy save my life. So, you know what I'm saying? So, like, stuff like that. But it's really all materialistic things and stuff like that. Like, I really don't care. I really, I'll stay on it as long as shit, if we have to, to keep me alive. You know what I'm saying? I ain't thirsty to die. Yeah, some serious shit, man. I'm telling you, like, I just lost two of my uncles. They was twins from it. Both of them. Like, I lost both of them. They was twins. So, like, yeah. And they just died, like, last week. Both of them died for COVID-19. So, like, yeah, I, I ain't eager to die. I ain't playing with it. I know it's serious because I, I saw it. Like, a lot of people don't believe it until it happens to somebody in their, you know what I'm saying, like in their immediate family or somebody they know, you know? That'd be too late, though. I've been picked up on it, though. Like, I've been watching, like, I pay attention to stuff like that. Like, the numbers are crazy, like, you know what I'm saying, especially in New York. Shout out to New York, you know what I'm saying? Hopefully they can. I don't know. Have you even seen the tour? Like, are they getting they, uh, are they getting back in track or is it still rising? That's why I don't understand. I don't understand how uh, Atlanta opened back up. The appearance is there, then people be on these. Now, now I understand that part too. But still, like man, some people got to keep up their image. But you know, and now that a lot of people doing like this, like a lot of phone and computer things and social media now, like people stuck on that type of stuff. So they gotta make sure they look good for the camera, be camera ready and stuff. I understand it. I get it. But you know what I'm saying? If you feel like your life not important, then, hey, you know what I'm saying? That's between you and God at the end of the day. You know what I'm saying? People grow and make, make their own decisions, got to manage their own. So you got to sometimes let people go ahead and make their mistakes. You know what I'm saying? Learn from them. It don't really have no age on it. Like, man, I've seen 11 year old that, so I know it's still. You know what I'm saying? Like, I know it. Wait, what underlying health conditions could this 11 year old have? And they said they, that she didn't have none. So, like, I don't know. I, I think things like, Everybody's body different, you know what I'm saying? But it can hit, like, I feel like it can hit a motherfucker and just wipe them out, you know what I'm saying? So it's, be it's best to be safe than sorry, you know? That's why I wish for everybody, though, you know? Like, because I ain't gonna lie, that New York shit, that shit was like, 
you know what I'm saying? Like, excuse my language on your on your show, but like, you know, our kids probably be watching, but it was just like that was like a movie, man. That's something like have you ever seen um the epidemic, I think that was called. You seen it was just like that, man. That's that's crazy, man. So like, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to New York and uh I send my condolences to everybody in New York that you know what I'm saying, having hard times with that. Even in Louisiana, I saw two, so them two, you know what I'm saying, New Orleans. So yeah, my condolences then. But yeah, man, this tears though. I'm glad y'all taking the right uh steps, you know what I'm saying? Like if I think everybody need to take the right steps to it, you know, take it serious. Don't don't take it for granted, you know what I'm saying? Cause it ain't no play play. It's serious. So, you know what I'm saying? Just be safe out there.